And we are back. This time I'm going to show you a simple seaside illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start with the pen tool. Nothing too special, just a fill color of black, no stroke. Now we will simply click three times to have this triangle created, which will be part of the sail. Now hold control to have the direct selection activated and I drag the top anchor point a little bit upwards. Let's get back to the pen tool. I click, then I click and drag to have this rounded part of the sail. I release it by going back to the anchor point and I go downwards. Click and slightly drag and I close the path. Oh, maybe that was a little bit too sharp. I can simply press Ctrl Z to get back. And again, click, then click and drag slightly. And I guess I use the direct selection tool, press A for that. And then I use the handle. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, I misclick that one, click on it, try to find the handle, not the path, and then drag the handle a little bit to the left. So there's the second path of the sail. We need the pen tool again, but let us first drag that downwards. I click on the bottom left, anchor point, drag it a little bit downwards. And now the actual boat. Click, click and drag. And we'll close the path. Don't worry about the bottom part, it will be covered by a rectangle that represents the sea. Alright, let's give it different colors. Red for the boat and white for the sail. Now we use the ellipse tool to create some clouds. Let's make them black for now. I create the first one, then I press V for the selection tool. I hold Alt, then I drag copies out of it, and I resize these copies. So this is now just a repetitive process. Make sure you've got your first one done. It should be fine. Select it, then right click and group. This will be our first cloud. I'll reposition it, and then I hold Alt, and I drag a copy out of the group. Well, let me first send it backwards, so right click arrange center back so that it's behind the bow. So here's our copy, I resize that, but at first I need to ungroup it, so I click ungroup, then resize it, and now I can drag a single element out of there and resize only there. Alright, we need another copy, so again Alt, then ungroup it, right click and ungroup, and I reposition that element, select it again and group it. This one needs to be grouped as well. Select it all, then hold shift and click on your sails so that these are excluded from the selection. Then right click and group. And we need yet another copy, I would say. Oh, that was one too much, I'll delete. Now we need the rectangle to create a background. So this will be the sky behind the clouds. So right click, arrange, center back. So now it's behind the sails, the boat, and behind the clouds. You can see it now with a different fill color. Don't worry about the colors now, we will select proper colors in the final step. I'll zoom out, holding Alt. And using the mouse wheel, I'll hold Alt, drag a copy out of the sky rectangle, and this will be the C. I'll make that a little bit smaller, and I give it a different color, a different blue, the darker one should be fine. I copy that again, 
This will be our beach. Let me make it. Ah, hello for now. And we can see that we need to get the sea on top of the boat. So I'll select that rectangle, then right click arrange and bring forward. Let's give the clouds a different color. We use a blue for now. So three levels of clouds should be fine. Select a cloud group and open this color guide menu. And we can work with different color swatches. Just find something for yourself that you like. This is just a beginner project so that you have something to practice with. Uh, I need to rearrange these a little bit more and let's give the beach a different color and the boat gets another red. Alright, let me close that menu and now we'll get rid of the edges. Just grab rectangle tool then drag a rectangle on top of it as the size of the artboard, select the draw and then use the shape builder to hold all to get rid of what we don't need on each side. Maybe you need to zoom in, once again hold all for that and use your mouse wheel to do that. Alright, that looks good. Now we only need to select the red rectangle and delete it. Now we've gotten rid of our edges. Select it again and I'll resize it to the top and bottom. And that's it. This is how you can create such an easy seaside illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.